guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my makeup desk thing. I'm really glad that you liked my previous video about my closet decluttering and my journey towards minimalism. Today I'm going to go through all my makeup and declutter because God knows I use like this much of all of this makeup. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And no, I cannot give away or donate used makeup products because that's not very sanitary. But the ones that are barely touched, I might be able to clean off and give to some friends or whatever. So this is basically all my makeup stuff. I'm sorry if I look in the viewfinder a lot. It's really, really annoying. And I'm really bad at not doing it. But I'm working on it, okay? And here we have the beginning of the makeup that I... I just do not use that is barely touched some of these things are have only been swatched so this box is hopefully gonna get filled a little bit and a lot is going in the trash obviously um, I guess we can just start with one of these this is the only liquid lipstick that I do use so you stay my friend or actually the red one is gonna stay as well because if I wear red lips that's the one I'm wearing eyebrow gel wear every day this don't wear that goes some weird thing from H&M, never used. Unopened pen from NYX. That goes in the giveaway box. The Kylie liquid lipstick. I feel bad about throwing this out. I don't really want to because I wore it once, I think. Um, but it's too dark for me. So this is going in the giveaway box. Old mascara. Um, a lip pen that I don't use. Soft Matte Lip Cream. This goes in the giveaway. Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Nope. Here we have a lot of unused liquid lipsticks. Uh, 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics. Everything Nice. Here we have one that Rascal has been chewing on. This was so terrible. It's uh, D. Benoit Matte Lip Color. The worst I've ever tried. Nobody needs to use that. White jumbo eye pencil. This I actually do wear from time to time. An unopened box of my favorite lip liner. Um, I'm working through this one at the moment, so I have one for backup. These I'm kind of unsure about. They're the Revlon, um, Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. I do like this one. Um, it's in the shade Berry Smoothie. So this one I think I'm going to actually keep, but this one, which is Strawberry Shortcake, is too light for me. Um, but it has been used a lot, so I won't be giving this away, I'll just throw it out. But I thought I would share some minimalism tips that I've picked up when watching all these YouTube videos that I have been watching. Um, that I also got a lot of questions about, like, how do you do it, etc. For me, I mean, it's been a process, for sure. I, I've been decluttering for a long, long time. But I always keep things that I don't wear for many different reasons. But I do think you have to allow it to be a process. You do not have to jump head first into something and then end up regretting it. I know that I won't regret any of my decisions that I made regarding my clothes because they have all been through countless of decluttering sessions and I still haven't worn them. So I know that I can get rid of those clothes. Um, as for makeup, I mean, it's just makeup. I know what I wear, I know what I like, and I can just get rid of it. Um, but I understand that some people like holding on to things and hoarding, because I do that too. I like keeping things for no reason whatsoever. And, I mean, minimalism is definitely not for everyone. You do not have to feel like you have to get rid of everything you own. Um, and that's not what minimalism is about either. And it's definitely not about only wearing grey, and only having white bed sheets and only having white, 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 and black all over. That's not minimalism. I mean, having 50 white t-shirts is still less minimalism than having one floral t-shirt. Um, it's not about the aesthetic, even though a lot of people who are minimalists have a similar aesthetic to, for example, what I have. Um, but personally, I know that in this apartment, I can't achieve the aesthetic that I want. So I'm not gonna put that much weight into it, um, we don't have white walls, we don't have nice floors, we don't have everything that I crave. So I'm not gonna let that stop me from like, oh, I can't be minimalist because everything is not perfect. And that's not what it's about either. It's about 
not owning unnecessary things, it's not about not buying unnecessary things. And I just feel stressed and clouded by having a bunch of stuff that I don't need or use. And I think one tip that I got from Rachel Aust, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I have been watching her videos. And one thing she said that really, really like resonated with me is that everything you own should have a home. And that helps um, cleaning a lot, because if everything you own has a home in your home, you know exactly where to put it. Because not everything that I have has a home. And that means that when I clean, I just put something somewhere and it ends up somewhere else. And then next time I clean, I put it somewhere else. And then it's just clutter all over. Let's go through this thing then. Um, the problem with my mascara collection is that I have like two, at least two mascaras that are half empty. Or they're more than half empty, but neither of them are full enough for me to keep them. But I don't, I haven't bought new mascara. So I'm going to keep both of these mascaras, but as soon as they're out, I'm obviously going to throw them. Or as soon as I buy a new one, basically. Anastasia Brow Definer. I've started liking it recently, so I'm going to keep it. And if I end up not using it in the future, I'll get rid of it. Never used NYX. I don't wear brown at all. So this goes in the pile. I mean, I do love Real Techniques, but this brush kit... I don't know if it's special in any way. I mean, it says... Duo Fiber Eye Brush, Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman. Um, I love Real Techniques, but this whole brush kit with the Duo Fiber, fucking useless. I've never used these, ever. We now have two half full instead of three explodingly full uh, holders. This is my Inglot palette that I bought uh, a few months ago, and honestly, I never reach for it. It has some pretty nice colors, but I mean, if you look at these, if you look at these shades, and then you look at the Meet Matrimony, I would say that these are pretty similar, uh, and I end up reaching for this way more often because it has more variety to it. So I think I'm going to put this uh, palette in the gift pile. Here we have Makeup Revolution blush palette that I absolutely never use and is almost untouched. So I'm going to pop this in the gift pile. And the reason I don't use this is because they're not very pigmented. And I think it's so... I mean, this is my blush brush. I mean, you can barely... Like, I, I kind of like touch all of them when I go into it to put on blush, <laughs> uh, which kind of defeats the point of having a huge palette with a lot of different colors. It's just not handy for me. Once again, an empty box. <laughs> I'm a box hoarder. I've said it, I, I don't know if I said it to you guys, but I've said it so many times in my life. I hoard boxes because I'm like, it's good to have. It's good to have boxes. Yeah, you know why it's good to have boxes? So you can put crap you don't need in them. So you can have all this decluttering going on and like, oh good, I have a box to store this in. You put all the crap you don't need in a box and you put the box somewhere and you forget all about it. That's why I'm a box hoarder and that's why I need to get rid of all friggin' boxes. And of course I'm keeping my NYX contour palette and my Anastasia contour palette because I use both of them pretty much every day. That's that. Now my brushes. I think I'm gonna keep most of these because I do actually use most of these, but I do have some other stuff in here that I don't use. Eyeliners, don't use them. These, I mean, they're very nice, very, very nice boxes. But when are you ever gonna put your watches in a box? Never. This is one of few items that I absolutely do not need, but I'm definitely gonna keep. Forever and always until the end of time. Um, it's my Motley Crue All Access card that I got when I saw them and met Mick and all that stuff. Oh, here. Here it is. Meet Matt Nude. I don't reach for this as much as Matrimony uh, because I think just Matrimony has better colors for me, for my preference. But I do like, I mean, honestly, these two palettes... In my opinion, if you are not a huge makeup fanatic and you need like every single palette that's ever been made, I think the palettes you do need are these two. I think you're done. And I mean, they are matte, all of them. So if you want shimmery eyeshadows, these are not for you. Um, but I just think these two are absolutely amazing. Um, this is just some moisturizer that I use, so I'm gonna keep it around. 
This is spotty rose. You only see the back of my head. Ooh, fancy. This does not belong here. This has a home. This has a home in the hallway, so goodbye, ruler. Also, I have three perfumes that are my favorites. Um, this is Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. It's the men's cologne. Oh, it smells like my teenage years. I have Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb um, that I like very much. Use it every other day whenever I don't wear this, which is uh, Juicy Couture Peace and Love. Oh, also so freaking good. I love these. I am on the hunt for a new perfume. Um, but I have such a hard time finding what I like. These ones that I've found are basically that I've sniffed someone else and I'm like, oh wow, what's that perfume? And then I'm gone and bought it. Um, but I, it's so difficult to go into a store and be like, hey, I'm gonna sniff some perfumes and then everything just smells like the same thing and then you go out of there and it doesn't smell like it at all. I'm not sure what I'm after. Something spicy but still fresh, that's, completely contradicting itself, but yeah, I don't know. If you have any tips on any like fancy smelling perfumes, comment below and I'll probably sniff them next time I go to a shop. Can we finish this now? This video is too fucking long. Okay, the moment you all have been waiting for. My plugs. Okay, can you see this okay? Can you see this okay? Um, there are so many plugs here that I do not wear, do not wear at all. I technically only wear these, but there are some that I like to mix it up with, so those I'm gonna keep. Um, but other than that, also these are on my, my watches <laughs> that I love. So some of these plugs are gonna get uh, donated or whatever you call it, given away to you guys because I, my ears can't wear them. My ears are very sensitive and most of these my ears get really swollen from, so hopefully you guys can wear them better than I can. <laughs> I got these uh, soccer inspired plugs um, that I'm also giving away because I don't wear them. <laughs> yep. These pink ones go. I will post a picture on Instagram of all the plugs I'm giving away. I, I am going to put them all in the same package and send them to one person. So I was thinking, should I like split them up and send them to different people? But I think it's just, I just want to get rid of them. I just want to give them to one person. Uh, all the info about the giveaway is going to be on Instagram, so check that out. These I think are really, really nice. I don't remember where they're from. So cool, but uh, they don't fit my ears very well. So these go. These will go as well. Um, these wooden flower things go. I actually really, really like these uh, hearts, stone hearts, but my ears can't wear them. I mean, they just, one, they fall out, and two, they're not comfortable, and uh, I don't know, I just don't like them, but they're very, very nice looking. Sadly, I don't wear these either. I think they're so pretty, so gorgeous, but there's no reason for me to keep these around when I don't wear them. I think there's someone out there who's gonna love them more than me. I actually do really like these little elephants. They go very well with my chest piece and I wear them in videos sometimes, so I'm keeping these. These roses are very dusty. But they're also pretty nice. Um, sadly, I don't wear them and I know that someone out there is gonna love them. These are so freaking cool. Uh, they're like uh, buffalo skulls or whatever they're called and uh, they're really, really cool, but they're a little bit too big for my ears, like they they don't look nice in my ears, and I think that someone out there, they don't look nicer on. Um, these, I always get asked where I bought them and all that jazz. People think they're very pretty. Once again, I don't wear them anymore, uh, but they are very, very nice. And all of these, let's get this out of the way so you can see. All of these plugs are getting gifted to someone. But now, my friends, I have been rambling for way too fucking long. I've been filming for 43 minutes now. And I hope, hope that the video won't be that long because nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> um, but I hope you like this uh, decluttering video as well. Um, next, I don't know, I think I'll be doing the kitchen next. So if you want to see me declutter my kitchen uh, or our kitchen, then give this video a thumbs up. And I think if uh, my video gets 
let's say 5,000 likes, I will show you guys when I declutter the kitchen. Because I think that could be kind of boring for some people. Um, so I need to know that at least 5,000 of you think that would be a good idea. So give this video a thumb up. If we reach 5,000, I'll show you when I declutter the kitchen. That's all for today's video. The Swedish word of the day is structure. The sweet word for structure is struktur. Don't forget to subscribe and pling the plong bell to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper one, guys. I'll see you later.